Hello there. My name remains Oladako, and I welcome you to the Global Tutor Virtual Class. In my last video class, I started out on a series on why revision. And in that class, I taught on how you can interpret a pie chart. In today's video class, I want to look at how you can present information on a pie chart. Let us start by solving this question from Waheg, 2008, question 3. The question reads, the table below shows how a man spends his monthly, sorry, spends his income in a month. Represent the information on a pie chart. So this is the table, item, amount spent, food, 4,500, house strength, 3,000, provision, 25, electricity, 2,000, transportation, 5,000, orders, 3,000. So how do we solve this? If we want to solve this, we need to draw a table. So we have items. Then we have amount spent. Then we have sector angle. So the first we have is food, and the amount spent is four thousand five hundred. Then, then we have our strength. The amount spent is three thousand naira. Then we have provision. The amount spent is 2,500. Then we have electricity. Electricity. The amount spent, 2,000. Then we have transportation. transportation the amount spent 3000 sorry the amount spent on transportation is 5000 the amount spent on transportation is 5000 then others others the amount spent on others is 3000 now you need to add all the amount spent 4005 plus 3000 plus 2005 plus 2000 plus 5000 plus 3000 if you do the addition you're going to have the sum to be 20000 so the total amount spent is 20000 now how do you get the sector angle you now have what is the amount spent on food? 4,500 divided by the total amount, which is 20,000 times the total angle in a circle, which is 360 degrees. So, 4,005 divided by 20,000 times 360 degrees will give us 81 degrees so the sector angle for food is 81 degree you go to the next one house rent 3000 divided by the total amount 20000 times the total angle in a circle 360 degree if you do that you're going to have 54 degrees then for provision you have 2500 divided by the total amount 20,000 times the total angle in a circle 360 degree if you multiply that you're going to have the sector angle to be 45 degree the next one is 2,000 
for electricity divided by the total amount spent 20,000 naira times the total angle in a circle 360 degree if you multiply that you're going to have 36 degree the next one is transport transportation so the amount on transportation is 5,000 the total amount spent is 20,000 times the total angle in a circle 360 degrees if you multiply that you're going to have the sector angle to be 90 degree then the last one orders the amount spent on orders is 3,000 times the total amount spent 20,000 times the total angle in a circle 360 degree so the angle is going to be 54 degrees so you have gotten all the sector angle now how do you now present it on a pie chart now to present it on a pie chart you now draw a circle you now draw a circle so let's say this is the circle you have drawn a circle now you go back to the information you have there is transportation that has 90 degree so you come down let's say this is the center of the circle with your ruler you draw a straight line now angle 90 degree you all know is a perpendicular line so this is you use your protractor to measure 90 degree so this place is what transportation transportation you go again there is 81 degrees you use your protractor to measure now you start your measurement from transportation so you now measure 81 degree so from here let's assume i've measured i'm not drawing to scale but you use your protractor to measure so let's say this angle is what 81 degrees and it is for food you label it next you have 54 degree which is for house rent which is for house rent you come here you you use your protractor to measure so let's assume this is what 54 degree so you come you label it this is 54 degrees so you come here you label it house rent house rent now you measure again 45 degree that is for provision so you come down here let's assume this is 45 degree you measure with your protractor please so you have 45 degrees and this will be for what provision provision it will be for provision the next one you have 36 degree so let's assume this is your 36 degrees you measure it this is 36 degrees so 36 degrees is for electricity so you come down and call this one electricity electricity then you have another 54 degree because i'm not drawing to scale that's why you have it like this so this place let's assume it is 54 degrees and that 54 degree is for others so you come here you label it others i did not draw to scale you use your protractor to measure each of the angles and you're going to have your your angles to be correct so to answer the question in 2008 question 3 we have successfully we have successfully present the information on a pie chart you can try your hand on this but make sure you use your protractor to measure out the angles 
let us go for another question another example this one is from 2011 question 5 the question read a library receive a $1,300 grant it spends 10% of the grant on magazine subscription 35% on new books 15% to repair damaged books 30% to buy new furniture 10% to train library staff the question now say represent this information on a pie chart how do we do that you have items or the data's items then you have the amount is spent then you have the sector angle you have the sector angle now the first item was it spent 10 percent on magazine subscription so you have magazine subscription and what is that they said 10 percent then you have 35 percent on new book so you have new book and 35 percent then you have 15% to repair damage book. Repair damage book. Damage book. We have 15%. Then we have 30% to buy new book. New fifteen percent, thirty percent to buy new furniture, rather. New furniture new furniture the percentage was 30 percent then we have 10 percent to train so for training training we have 10 percent now you all know that percentage is based on 100 so it means the total percent would be 100 percent the total percent will be 100 percent so let's now go let's go what will be the sector angle <coughs> for magazine the sector angle for magazine will be 10 divided by 100 times the total angle in a circle which is 360 degrees 360 degrees and that will give us 36 degree sector angle for magazine new book 35 percent so you have 35 divided by 100 times 360 degrees that will give me 126 degree then the next 15 percent 15 divided by 100 times 360 degrees that will give me 54 degrees the next we have 30 degree divided by 100 times 360 degrees that will give me 108 degrees then the last one we have 10 divided by 100 times that 360 degrees this will give me 36 degrees so you have gotten the sector angle for all the items listed so let's now present this on a pie chart let's present this on a pie chart for you to present this on a pie chart you need to draw a circle so let's say this is our circle this is our circle so this 
is the center of the circle, you draw a straight line. From here, you now use your protractor to measure the angles. The first one is 36 degree. So you will measure with your protractor 36 degree. So let's say this is 36 degree. You label it 36 degree. What item is that? That is magazine. So you come here, you write magazine like that. The next item to be presented, new book, 126 degree. You use your protractor to measure 126 degree. So let us assume this is 126. Let us assume this is 126 degrees. And that is for what? That is for new book. So you come here, you write new books new books now after that one you have 54 degrees let us assume your protractor has given us this angle here to be 54 degrees and what is that place for it is for repair of damage book so you write repair of damage book for repair of damage book then the next item 108 you use it to get new furniture so let's say this is your 108 so this place is 108 degrees and 108 degree is for new furniture so you come here you label it new furniture then the last one is for training 36 degree so this place here is what 36 degree and it is for what training of staff so you label it training of staff so in this video class i've been able to show you how you can present information on a pie chart we solve a question from y 2008 question 3 and we also solve a question from YEC 2011 question 5. I will implore you to pick your past question and look for more questions on pie charts and solve it. So long. Success.